What's up, guys? This is Coach Corey over at Catalyst Sports and Bat Speed Recon. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what a proper over and underload bat speed training session should look like. For those of you that don't know, over and underload training just means we're going to be taking a player swinging their game bat, an overload bat about 20 to 30 percent heavier, and an underload bat about 20 to 30 percent lighter. The overload is going to help with our strength. The underload is going to help with our quickness. This type of training is the absolute most effective way to increase a player's bat speed. Guys, this is the secret. Bat speed is what separates average hitters from great hitters. If you have great mechanics, but you don't have any bat speed to go with it, that's a problem. We measure bat speed by isolating the tip of the bat and measuring it as it travels through space the moment right before impact. A lot of players and coaches will use exit velocity as a way to train to help increase a player's bat speed, which is great, that's all well and good, but there's so many outside variables that it can give us some misleading results. For example, if you hit the ball off the end of the bat, your exit velocity is gonna go down. If you catch underneath the ball, your exit velocity is gonna go down. By way of isolating the tip of the bat, we were able to eliminate all of the outside variables and strictly train on the most important element that separates great hitters. Our goal with bat speed training is to have the player reach the fastest bat speed they possibly can on every swing. We will be measuring their average bat speed throughout each set. We will be measuring their peak bat speed through each set. When the player goes through each one of these sets, they're trying to beat those records every single time. If you can know your record, you can beat your record. Let's jump right into it. Goal is to get the highest numbers possible. I will be feeding you. All right, we're doing a round of 10 right here. Okay, you will see on the display, on 10, okay, you're gonna see your average bat speed for that whole set as well as your best one. You're always trying to beat your best. Okay, and I can see it back here as well. Okay, all right, ready, set of 10. Right in, go. center all you got load up you gotta swing faster than that come on don't miss good one more all you got all you got all you got good. Overload that, about 20, 30% right here. 
Six, come on. One more. All you got. Jump. Ooh, almost up. Like that. 20% lighter here. Halfway through. Okay, all you got. See you get in the 80s. Nice. Going for 80. Good. Okay, 81. Nice. Swing. All you got. Better right. Nice, 82. Let's get a full 82 here. Good. Got a point. Five more. Light bat round two. Ooh, there it is, record. Okay, let's see that 85, boy. Use your body, use your legs. Center 
be the tire here. Gotta push through it. This is where the good stuff is. Four more. Come on, come on, get up there. A little underneath that. Oh, come on, man. We're getting tired. You gotta work. Push through it here. Two more. Good. One more. Over 70. Okay, last set of 10 right here. Going for 72. All you got, last 10. Oh, over, yep. Reset. Stay under control, be explosive, breathe. Come on, come on, we gotta get back in there. This is where the good stuff is. Good, right, there it is. Okay, repeat, repeat. Seven more. We got five more. Good. Three, four more. Three. Come on, turn that knob around. Turn that long. Stay tight. Two more. Stay under control right here. 70. Nice. Good job, dude. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you'd like to learn more baseball tips and drills, more about Batsby training, please click the subscribe button. If you have any comments or questions for us, please leave them down below and visit our website, batspeedrecon.com. We'll see you there.